Welcome back to another episode of the Say It Out Loud podcast. I am Vasavi. Today, I'm going to be answering a question that I received in my Instagram DM. Here is the question. What is my number one tip to grow my platform on Instagram? I'm going to share the two things that have absolutely worked for me consistently throughout my 11 years in business. Consistency on my own platform. And number two, utilizing OPP other people's platforms. I would not be where I am today. I would not have the reach that I've had and, you know, the the way that people from all over the world are able to find me if I did not have the relationships that I have with the people that I have to utilize and harness their platform so I can be sharing my message in front of their platform and helping their audience. This did not happen overnight. There are times where I have pitched myself to other people's podcasts, and yes, the hosts have been very uh, receptive to my pitches, even if it's a cold pitch, and that's fine too. You have to start somewhere. Everything boils down to the relationships that you're building. I have friends who have who have taken the time to grow their platforms, um, and I really admire and honor the work that it's taken for my colleagues to, to uh, have the platforms that they have. And I know that the way that they've increased their platform numbers is by utilizing other colleagues of theirs platforms, right? So it really is about utilizing other people's platforms. So what does that look like? That means actually using social media to socialize and build relationships, right? So I have a book coming out, Spring of, uh, spring of 2023. I have a running list of my friends, actual friends that I'm going to be asking, hey, I'm going to be doing a podcast tour. Can I come on your podcast? Because my book's going to be coming out. These are not strangers. These are people that I've cultivated actual friendships with. Like they can call me. I can call them. I can text them. They can text me. So you want to start off by building relationships with people, right? Genuine relationships with people. I'm not going to build a relationship with someone to get on their podcast if I don't even like them as a friend. If I don't like you as a person, I don't give a shit about being on your podcast. Do I... Do I think that it would help me? Absolutely. And I really love cultivating friendships with people because I actually want to be friends with them, not so that I can leverage them for something that doesn't feel genuine for me, right? I know that my friends have podcasts and I know my friends have big platforms, but that is not my driving motivator to be friends with someone. I want to know that we can sit on the couch and shoot the shit together, right? So that's the kind of friendship that and relationships that I'm suggesting that you build so that you can grow on your platform. So my answer to your question, how do you grow on your social media platform is to utilize other people's platforms and to be consistent in your own platform. That that may look like pitching yourself to different podcasts. That may be connecting to people in your industry or, or who who are in a different industry, but also target the same audience as you and reaching out and actually just starting a conversation. This is why I offer confident communication strategy sessions, because if you cannot even start a relationship with somebody in your industry, like it's going to be hard for you to build those relationships to then utilize their platforms so that you can grow your platform. So we're not taught as adults how to make friends. We're not taught. If you're on this platform, you're trying to build your business, grow your audience, and you don't even know how to have a conversation with somebody, it's going to be difficult for you to take my advice because I'm saying to you, hey, go out and make those relationships, forge those connections genuinely, not, oh, this person has these many followers. Cool. How can I become friends with this person so I can then eventually get on their podcast? Do not go. I mean, listen, you're human. We notice numbers. We notice the the featured symbols oh featured in cnn featured here we we see all of that i'm not saying not to acknowledge that i'm saying to keep your intention clear to look at people as people first and foremost build those relationships it doesn't matter how big their platform is but yes you want to utilize other people's platforms even if they're if they have a larger platform than you use them even if they have a smaller platform than you but you're still speaking to the right audience i would rather have you speak to someone who maybe has a tinier platform a smaller platform than you numbers wise, and still get in front of their audience because you're still talking to people. Keep the the main thing, the main thing. Your main thing is to get in front of people that may not normally have access to you. So you can start sharing your goodness, your message, your story, your however you help people. So you can start putting that out there. 
make that the main thing. The main thing is I want to spread my message and be in as many earballs and eyes uh, and, and be in front of as many eyes as I can. Okay. That is the goal. When you start thinking that way, making relationships with people, creating relationships, friendships, working relationships, whatever, it's going to become a lot more simple for you, right? Because you are on a mission to serve and to help others. And when you go about it with that, it's from, with the, from that intention, it's a lot easier to strike up a conversation with people. But I understand if you struggle with social anxiety, if you're typically more of an introvert, you don't really like talking to people that much. Maybe you, you know, you prefer, you kind of been solo and now you're like, shit, I got to grow on this platform and I don't know how to talk to people. Then I'm going to encourage you to schedule a 90 minute confident communication strategy session with me. So whether you are looking to write an email pitch or you want to just learn how to talk to people and there's nothing to be ashamed of y'all, I'm just learning how to talk to men at 39 years old. I'm, I'm just now learning how to talk to men. So do not be ashamed of yourself. If you struggle, sorry, I gotta like do my hair. Do not, do not be ashamed of yourself. If you struggle with, you know, socializing or networking on a social network platform, like if you're just not used to doing that, it's okay. I'm just learning how to talk to men. It, maybe you're really good at talking to men. Maybe I need your help, but I can definitely help you talk to strangers. Let me tell you something. That is a, uh, that is a skill to be able to talk to anyone about anything. Okay. Is an excellent skill. And you, you take that into your business and you start developing those relationships with people and you start putting really bringing value to every conversation that you're bringing. You'll start to attract people who are aligned with that. Right. And they may have podcasts, they may have blogs, they may have stages that you can speak on, but go into it with a service mindset. You will attract people into your life with a service mindset. You will attract people who are drawn to what you have to say, and then you can forge those connections and relationships. And they'll be like, hey, I'm, I have a podcast. I'd love to interview you. That's just, it's organic. It doesn't need to be some big contrived situation where you're like hemming and hawing over what to say. Start making friends. Start making friends in your industry, even outside of your industry, but, or, or who have uh, you know audiences that you can really tap into. But if you're going to say to me, I'm afraid to talk to people, I'm afraid to reach out to you, you're shit out of luck because everything is built on top of relationships, everything in our life, the quality of our life, the quality of our business, the quality of our life. I'm going to go back to saying that the quality of the quality of your life is built on the quality of your relationships. It's a di it's directly determined by the quality of your relationships, right? Your friendships, your business partnerships, People don't just become partners like that. They don't know each other. It's a lot of times it's friends that get into business with each other or someone told someone else, hey, you should really check out this person. They'd be great for your business. Everything is built on relationships. So, you know, if you struggle with making those relationships in your business, I can definitely help you. So please, I'm in the link below. I'm going to go ahead and, and put the link um, in the description below. I'm going to go ahead and put the link to schedule my confident communication strategy session. It's 90 minutes. I want to help you feel more confident and be more confident in communicating so that you can start to utilize other people's platforms. And some of you may get turned off by that and be like, oh, well, I don't want to use other people. You're not using anybody, okay? You are utilizing other people's platforms to spread your message so you can hit a bigger market or you know get in front of more people's eyes and ears. You cannot say you are committed to helping others if, if you are unwilling to do the work and you are still in hiding, plain and simple. You don't tell me you're in the business of helping other people and you want to get out and you want to make a difference in the lives of others if you're not willing to build relationships to help you you be able to utilize people's platforms and be like, hey, I want to get in front of your audience if you're not willing to do that work, right? If you're going to keep singing the same story to yourself and say, well, I'm shy, I'm this, I'm that, like there's like I could say the same thing about my dating life and I can be like, I don't know how to talk to men. Well, you know what? I'm learning how to talk to men, but how am I doing that? By surrounding myself with more men. I'm learning how to talk to men by surrounding myself with more men. So listen, we all have areas of our life that we struggle with. If you struggle with communicating with, uh, uh, assertively, authentically, honestly, with confidence, and you can tell that it's affecting you and your business and just being able to you know, rock a podcast interview or reach out to someone and say, hey, I'd love to connect with you. Then definitely schedule a confident communication 90 minute session with me. This is my little quick say it out loud episode. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. 
If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me on my Instagram at my name is Vasavi through my website at vasavikumar.com. I love answering these questions so much. And as you notice, I just keep it anonymous. So your secret's always safe with me. Feel free to ask me any questions and I will catch you next time on another episode of the Say It Out Loud podcast.